I'm curious how you're thinking about going into this market today, especially given the fact that at 2 p.m. today we will be hearing uh, what those no what those minutes say from the Fed and really whether they're going to be putting their foot on or off the neck of the economy going forward uh, in the ways that I think some people are, are still guessing about. Yes, uh, good morning. Um, I'm actually thinking that the minutes are not going to be very surprising, um, especially thinking about Jackson Hall coming up very shortly. Uh, I think since the last Fed meeting, we have seen, uh, um, you know, many people from the Fed, you know, giving a lot of insights about their thoughts on inflation, probably trying to uh, measure the message about, you know, the potential pivot in the Fed. Um, you know, the, the biggest the biggest part of what we'll be looking into is, uh, you know, the, the market behavior with any expectation of, you know, changes in the inflation dynamics. And, and I think the biggest thing is while inflation is coming down, still the high levels are, you know, pretty high. And as we can see from overseas data, especially in the UK, you know, the overall global inflation is still pretty high. So, so Fed officials are in that particular pr setup of, you know, they do have to send the signal to the market that they need to continue to fight inflation. So what do you think, though, of the, the rise in the market recently? I mean, we have had a, a significant rise as there's been a pivot, at least among investors, maybe not economists, about what the Fed may do and what inflation is going to look like come this fall. Well, I think, you know, the, the market seems to be pricing in a, a soft landing as being the default scenario, um, you know, with very few data points to support it. Um, you know, it, it's, it's not very uncommon as we go into the late phase of the economic cycle to see these kind of rallies where we're still in the beginning uh, part of that late cycle that usually brings, you know, Tight inflation, you know, uh, areas, we see inverted yield curves, we see, um, you know, potential fears of higher inflation going forward. And I think what has, you know, created these rallies is the fact that we've seen a labor market that has been very strong. Uh, and therefore, you know, the, the majority of, of the market participants are thinking that that will probably support the Fed and give the Fed more wiggle room for, um, you know, future ease uh, of their uh, pike of, of hiking rates. So so that component is is driving these uh, these uh, latest rally. Now, so, that, but that, says, that suggests that you're you're negative in that you're thinking we're towards the end of a, a cycle. I mean, I think we've all thought we might be towards the end of a cycle. The question is, we've, a lot of people thought that for years. Well, we, we, yeah, no, this, this definitely this economic cycle has actually gone from being very long in many areas and then very quick, especially after the pandemic. And if you think about this last economic cycle has actually been pretty quick. And I think uh, what you see are the conditions that I just laid out. You know, there are very clear signs that we're in that last phase of the cycle. And, you know, bull markets usually don't start at the beginning of that last phase. We'll probably need to see a little bit more of conditions. Earnings uh, need to come down and we need to see a little bit more soft in the labor market to start thinking about a bull market.